Howdy everybody, this is Bake with IronThroneCraft.com, and this video is going to be all about scoring in Blood Moon. So all the ways to get points, everything else like that. We're going to show you combat from the last Blood Moon in April of 2020, and we're going to show you uh, how to find out if you broke even on points, if you won points, if you lost points, everything else like that. So if you're going into Blood Moon, you need to know, number one, if you're safe to unshield. And the only way that you're safe to unshield is number one you're not going to get obliterated but number two you want to make sure when you're taking hits you're actually winning on points so we're going to go through that there's also a lot of other ways to get points in blood moon while you're shielded you can reinforce the sanctuary get 20 million points a minute if you reinforce the sanctuary that's split up amongst everybody that's uh, reinforcing it from your alliance this is that you can gather tiles and here's the thing about gathering if you look at this little thing right here you see that food actually give the most points for clearing a level eight tile Remember that level 8 tiles clear at the same speed. So even though there's so much more food on a level 8 tile than there is silver, you, they clear at the same speed. Your lower tier troops gather the fastest. Keep that in mind. So this surprised me, actually. When you're in Blood Moon, you want to be trying to gather food. That's how you get the most points. Lower tier troops gather the fastest. But like if you're using your Ancient Magic or something, then there's that. Now you see here I'm auto-hunting and I'm killing strongholds and monsters. And this is the chart that shows you best points per AP. Now, obviously, the most points per AP is going to come from killing a top-level bloody stronghold. You see down there. Level 40 gives you the most points per AP by a long shot. Not everybody can kill bloody strongholds because, you know, you have to drop shield while you're doing so. Also, those top-level ones, they're tough. Uh, if you're having an issue with killing high-level bloody strongholds, number one, you should be scouting them first. Number two, if you have strat troops, you should be using them, making sure you're sending the, uh, the proper type of troops at them. So there's that. But you saw from that chart also that elite level 45 monsters and so on and so forth give really good points as well. So one way you can get a ton of points for your kingdom is sitting on tiles all day long and gathering food if you can or auto hunting or manually hunting for all of these troops or for all these strongholds, monsters, everything else like that. There are a lot of blood moons where the person with the the kingdom with the most people wins and it's because they're all sitting here and they're spamming killing chaotic strongholds killing bloody strongholds killing monsters everything else like that now again you want to be careful when you are hitting bloody strongholds because you cannot be shielded when you do so that is a very important thing that said if you are safe to be unshielded even if you can't kill a level 49 can't kill 39 38 da, 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 killing a level 26 bloody stronghold gives more points than killing a level 40 Chaotic Stronghold. So, obviously, if you have to stay shielded, kill the Chaotics, kill the monsters, set your auto-hunt on monsters, that way you can try to snag some elites and get some good uh, chests and everything else like that. And then, obviously, you're going to be getting a ton of resources out of it while you're doing it as well. So, all in all, if you're going to stay shielded, you know, highest level you can go on monsters is what I would recommend if you're going for points. Obviously, most people are going to go for Chaotic Strongholds, though, because they give so many resources when you're in Blood Moon, and that is a big deal. Now, the bread and butter for Blood Moon, what everybody wants to know about is kill points, and this is how you're going to get the most points for your kingdom the fastest. Popping off huge rallies, hitting people for a ton of points on solos, rallies, everything else like that, that is the way that you actually, if you have less players in your kingdom and you're able to find targets this is the fastest way to get points in blood moon everybody knows it it is what it is but what i'm going to go through here now is i'm going to show you some hits and i'm going to show you me getting hit here you, you see me picking a fight with Zway right here um, and don't worry yes this video does have me on fire multiple times so you can look forward to that as well but i'm going to break down the hits i'm going to look at the number of kills and i'm going to show you the break even charts to see if i won or if i lost on points and if you're taking hits during Blood Moon, you need to be positive that you are winning on points, or at least you're very, very close to break even. Because if you're just getting crushed over and over again and losing a ton of points every single time, you need to be shielded. You need to be killing Chaotix or monsters or anything else like that. If you're soloing people and you're losing your ass on points over and over and over again, you should stop hitting those targets or let you know other people that might be penetrating a little bit better than you. Uh, you see here, Zway hits me, I cap his hero. He immediately drops it out of uh, the prison, so that was an impressive speed at that. And so you see he killed some tier 2 there. Um, and this is just because Zway hit me with the wrong type of troops. And so you see great victory there. I lost 210,000 T2, he lost almost 2 million tier 7. 
Obviously, we don't even need a chart for this one. We know that I definitely won on points right there. If you cap, you win on points every single time. There's, you know, that's should go without saying. Um, but so you see here, I've got a bunch of dead tier two X-Men in there from when I soloed Zway as well to uh, to pick the fight with him. And so now he's going to sit here. He's going to solo me a few more times. And then I'm actually going to go into KC and tell him, hey, uh, you're choosing wrong. Hit me with the right type of troops and blow me up. Because I wanted to see if I could take a solo and win on points. And so we will see that in just a minute. I cannot, is what we're about to find out. If uh, if I get hit by triple crimson archers with strat archers, I'm going to blow up. And so I'm going to speed it up a little bit so we can show you that. Now, what you're about to see here with this super speed iron throne, as you can see here, is I'm looking at all Zway's buffs, uh, seeing what he's sending. And what he's going to do is he's going to send a uh, wrong type of troops at me a couple more times. And each time he gets his hero out of the prison before I can chop it. So I don't appreciate that. In the future, if you're going to uh, let me cap your hero by soloing me, please uh, keep your hero there long enough for me to chop it. Otherwise, it's uh, not as cool or as exciting. But uh, So as you can see here, I'm just going through, I'm looking, and uh, pro tip, I won on points on every single one of these. But this one is after I went to KC and I said, hit me with archers and blow me up. And as we see, he did. I'm on fire now. So I'm going to go in, and uh, I don't know what I'm doing right there. I, I popped the shield because I got scared. Whenever I saw the deaths right there, I could see it scared me. So see here, he lost 2 million T7. I lost 37.5 million T3. So right off the bat, I can tell you that's a lose on points. Uh, we're going to go look at the chart in just a second and see how big of a loss it was. And so if you don't know, these charts are up on ironthronecraft.com. Go to ironthronecraft.com and you can check out and see the actual charts. It'll give you the total break even for how, depending on how many T7 you kill or how many you lose if you're attacking. So see here, he hit me with uh, strat archers. He had a whole bunch of attack and a whole bunch of debuffs. I lost 37 million T3. Here's the chart. In order to break even for him, he needed to kill 15, a little over 15 million tier 3. So he basically doubled me on points right there, because I lost 37 million. So the points that I gained, I gave up twice as much. That's not a good uh, spread. So let's look at some uh, rallies here. And uh, we'll see here that uh, we are going to be rallying. I'm going to go pop auras and everything else like that in case I get a uh, solo target while this is happening. But what we're about to show is what a lot of people are doing in Blood Moon now, which is incredibly smart, which is they're going to start using lower tier troops. Because as you saw on that chart, you have to kill a lot more T1 or T2 in order to break even on points. And by a lot more, I mean billions, especially if it's a rally and you're losing you know, 4.64 million troops, which is uh, what you're usually going to lose in a rally with a max rally. So this is uh, somebody in Zwei's Alliance. It's uh, Fong. Going to hit here. And so originally, it's initially it looks uh, decent. So see, we killed 95 million troops. It's like, oh, we probably did all right then. Right? No, we didn't. If we scroll down, we look at details. And scroll down to the bottom here, we hit with Cav defending. He had a whole bunch of Tier 2 troops. Now, Tier 2, we killed 60 million Tier 2. Look at that. We lost 4.64 million. In order to break even, killing T2 and losing 4.64 million T7 troops, we have to kill about 1.4 billion T1 or T2. I don't know many people that have that many T1 or T2. If they do, you know, more power to them. But, uh... Yeah, we did not win on points on that one. Tier 1 and Tier 2 are point sponges in Blood Moon. So if you can find a way to not get absolutely exploded while running Tier 1 and Tier 2, you will dominate on points over and over and over, and you can take a whole lot of hits with it. So uh, here we see a rally set on TSU. I say that I'm going to uh, top, which means I'm sitting here waiting for us to get five other heroes in the rally before I top it off. And uh, that's just, well, you'll see me say uh, I top over and over again. But now you'll see me uh, crap my pants because I'm like, who's attacking me? Teleport away. It was a chaotic stronghold. That happened a lot this Blood Moon. I don't know why. I feel like it happened a whole lot more than it usually does. The chaotic strongholds were all about scouting me. And when you're just sitting there minding your own business, killing bloody strongholds, killing monsters, whatever else like that, screen lights up red, you know, it's, it's a little jarring. Especially when it happens like five minutes apart. That happened to me a couple times this Blood Moon, where one stronghold would scout me, and then five minutes later, another one scouts me. And uh, so here, I was a little bit behind on the record. You see that I hit him, mini face God. Scroll down, look at the details. I killed 90 million. That looks great, right? Nope, they're tier two. Look at this chart again. If I lose that many T7, 2 million T7, I have to kill 660 million T2 
in order to make up for it. Uh, it's so again, this is another point sponge. And what he did was incredibly smart. He sat there, he took a bunch of solos from us, we ate through all of his tier two. As soon as we got through his tier two, he shielded up. That was well played. Good job, many faced god. A lot of people were doing that this Blood Moon. So if you're rolling around Blood Moon with only T4, T5, T6, or like me, T3, T4, T5, T6, T7 troops, you need to make sure that you're winning on points. So check those charts on ironthronecraft.com or just, you know, learn what they are uh, off the top of your head. Now we're going to see a, uh, <laughs> you see, you're about to see Offy get mad at me here because I hit this guy from right next door. I saw that he was sitting on top of Offy, so I teleported over to him, killed 20 million troops with my dragon. So not the best hit. But, uh, yeah, I teleported right on top of him because I saw that Offy was right on top of him. So I was like, oh, I guess he's, uh, I guess he's offline. No, I was wrong. Apparently he ported next to Offy for some reason. So whenever I ported in, it scared him. But we see here I killed 20 million. I lost 1.75 million. And that's tier 3. You look at this. I lost 1.75 million. Let's call it 2, you know, let's call it two million. And I only needed to kill 15 million. So positive points there. Not a ton of positive points, but we were positive points. Obviously, if I would have hit him with Strat Siege, it would have hit him a lot harder because he was defending with Siege. All yada, 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 all down the line. But the bottom line is there's a lot of people out there that are defending with T3, T4, T5, T6, T7, myself included. <clears throat> if you're doing that, you are at major risk for giving a lot of points up. If you're defending with Tier 1 and Tier 2, you are at major risk for losing billions of troops in one hit. I mean, Blood Moon, you only use food to heal. So it is what it is, but uh, just you know, keep that in mind. T1 and T2 get exploded because of all the gear that has the additional damage done to Tier 1 and Tier 2. However, the points reflect that you can get exploded with T1 and T2, and you'll still be all right on points. So I'm anticipating that a lot more people are going to be start running that uh, setup for Blood Moon next time. So watch out for that when you're attacking. If you look at your report, you don't want to do that. This is me getting rallied and burned. And we saw that I lost 35 million Tier 3. We look at this chart... They need to kill 32 million tier 3 in order to break it. So I was a little bit points negative on that one. Um, and they're going to keep on hitting me. Fast forward a little bit. This is the next rally. I went in, popped some different boosts, got some more reinforcements, popped some auras, everything else like that. So we go look at this one, and we see that I killed 4.4 million, and I only lost 31 million. So this time I actually won on points, barely, uh, but I won on points on that one. And so they didn't come anymore after that one. But uh, good hits by them. Zway, good hits on me. We had some good uh, good hits overall in Blood Moon. And just use caution. As I was saying, what I want you to get out of this video, if you're attacking and you hit Tier 1 or Tier 2, 98% probability lost on points. Check the article on IamThroneCraft.com. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Go check the website. I'm updating that more frequently now. Thanks for watching, everybody.